Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Here's another two minutes with Trevor. Quick tip on K-body compressors. So another image here sent from Steve Wagner, who's an expert at inspecting compressors. And he sent me this image and he said, hey, Trevor, I see a lot of these K-bodies coming back. And this one actually said it was grounded. So the compressor is grounded, but when he checked it with a high pot test, the compressor is totally fine. And this is a warranty compressor in the field less than a year. And he said when he checked it mechanically, it was good. But he noticed some high temp, some overheating happening. And when he tore apart the external protector, like you see in the top corner there, it was badly pitted and possibly could have been welded. I have one here. I pull this out of a K body. I broke it open to look at it. If you have compressors tripping off, you need to take the time. He feels technicians aren't taking the time to deep dive to figure out what caused that failure. Because when you put another compressor in and you don't find a failure, that next one's gonna fail. And this one's an overheat situation. The compressor wasn't even grounded. And I don't blame the technician because if the technician wasn't taught properly and he, they weren't shown properly, so I can't blame the technician. But what I can do is try to help you. So I'm gonna put a link in the description on compressor training, how to troubleshoot compressors. Check it out. Hopefully it brings you some value. If you need to get replacement parts, reach out to your wholesalers. They sell these. Before you replace a K-body, break this open, check it out. See if the compressor was overheating, tripping on that. From low voltage, from dirty condenser, from high compression ratio, lots of different things. I'd love to hear some feedback in the comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.